we now have an idea of the production numbers we're going to see from Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin in Germany. We've got an idea of what we're going to see initially over the next few months. And then by the end of the year, once Tesla have ramped up production. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I am the Electric Viking. It's great to have you here. My name is Sam Evans and I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. If you want to see a bit about me and my boys, my family, I'll put a link in the description below to their YouTube channel. Thank you to all the many of you who have subscribed to their YouTube channel. They are super excited. And thank you for subscribing to this channel as well, supporting the movement towards having, well, a better planet, isn't it? Uh, a better planet in so many different ways and saving yourselves a lot of money in the long run by having an electric car or at least learning about which electric car makes the most sense to buy. So I'll get to it quickly. Tesla is reportedly targeting 1,000 Model Y deliveries per week by the end of April. But numbers by the end of this year are dramatically different. The battery chemistry, which for me is the most exciting part, Tesla will plan on switching over to using 4680 chemistry cells later on this year. And I'll give you a date for that in just a second. Now, Tesla already says that Tesla are taking a deliberate strategy with their vehicle production ramp in Germany. As per local reports, Tesla is currently looking to produce about 1,000 electric cars per week at Giga Berlin by the end of this month. Now, apparently production is is a lot lower than that right now, but they're ramping up to 1,000 per week by the end of this month. They are using 2170 cells. They're not using 4680 cells right now, but they will switch over to 4680 cells later in the year. Now, apparently Tesla plan on ramping up to 5,000 to 10,000 vehicles per week by the end of 2022, dependent on one thing, right? The 5,000 to 10,000 number really is just dependent on how many 4680 battery cells Tesla can produce. If they can produce enough to build 10,000 vehicles, they'll be building 10,000 vehicles a week. If they can't, they'll be doing it only 5,000. You know, it could be anywhere in between that number, but that at least gives us as investors and you guys in Europe who want to buy a Tesla Model Y a good idea on Tesla's production numbers this year. Now, as you probably know, Tesla only started production or at least deliveries from their factory in Berlin at an event attended by Elon Musk last month, but they did actually start producing vehicles the month before that. Tesla handed over its first lot of Tesla Model Y vehicles during that kind of ceremony. Weird to say that, but yeah, it was kind of a ceremony. But reports among avid watchers of the facility have hinted that Gigafactory Berlin is still ramping vehicle production fairly slowly. Now, citing internal calculations by the company, German media outlet Automobile Wash, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry, for you Germans out there, estimated that Tesla will only be making about 30,000 cars at Giga Berlin this year, with higher outputs being achieved in 2023. I think that is baloney. And I think they're preaching to their audience who want to hear that Tesla's only going to do this number. I think you'll find that Tesla will likely produce closer to 100,000 Model Ys this year from their factory in Germany. Those are my predictions. That's my guess. It's purely a guess, but I don't think it's going to be 30,000. I think it'll be a lot more than that. Now, to me, this number appears extremely conservative considering the way that Tesla has ramped up at their last Gigafactory that they built in Shanghai. Their ramp up there was quite a bit quicker than that. So what are Tesla currently producing right now at Gigafactory Berlin? Well, right now, apparently they're only producing 350 Tesla Model Y vehicles per week. But of course, they've said by the end of this month, it's going to go to 1,000. By the end of the year, five to 10,000 per week. So if you think about it, if they can produce, say, 5,000 per week in December, seems like a pretty conservative number to get, right? Then that means they'd produce 20,000, right? 20,000 in December. So if this German magazine is correct, that means they'd only produce 10,000 for the rest of the entire year total. That does not add up. In fact, that clearly does not add up at all. So that seems like a load of baloney to me. That is when Tesla will reportedly transition the Model Y from its current 2170 cells to new structural packs using 4680 battery cells. That's the good news for you guys in Germany. I can't give you an exact date, but at least you've got an idea, kind of a general idea on when this will happen. So, so far right now, only Tesla Model Y is built at the factory in Texas use 4680 battery cells. And I talked about the range of the vehicles that use those cells. It's actually quite a lot lower than what we expected. It's only 279 miles. 
but the pack is much, much smaller as well. I think you'll find that'll be a very, very efficient car. It'll be much, much lighter in weight compared to existing Tesla Model Ys. And you can actually buy these vehicles. Apparently, the price will be $60,000 in the US, and they'll be all-wheel drive, 279 miles of range. But of course, later on this year, we'll see bigger battery pack sizes. Well, I think we could even see a long range version with about 460 miles of range. That's my prediction. We'll see if that happens. So Tesla, right? They're currently building a dedicated battery cell production facility in their factory in Germany, in Berlin. And progress on the construction of this facility apparently has been quite fast. Expectations are high that the battery plant will be operational in the near future and Tesla will then begin stockpiling batteries for these new Tesla Model Ys. Estimates that Tesla can transition its Made in Germany Model Y to 4680 cells, well, then they'd be correct. And uh, I mean, obviously, they will. it will happen. Tesla clearly has the ability to make these cells now. It's not. Um, it's no longer so-called, what are people calling it? Vaporware, never going to happen. 4680 cells, it's a myth. It's, well, okay, the cars already exist. They're on the roads right now, so it's not a myth. Tesla clearly has the technology. They're building the factory, the facility right now to actually produce these cells in Germany. So it's not vaporware. Now, I'm going to guess that there's going to be a lot of people going to say, oh, well, you know, based on this, then Tesla this. Yeah, well, I've got to say, proviso, I don't know the exact numbers this year for Tesla. I don't know if they're going to hit 100,000 vehicles at deliveries. That's just my guess. You know, I think it's a conservative guess. I think they could even hit 150,000. People are going to say that's crazy. That's my guess. What is your guess? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.